All right, so this lesson is about converting from radians to degrees. All right, so if I gave you radians, for example, pi. Pi is in radians. So I gave you pi. That really just means 180 degrees. So pi radians means basically 180 degrees. To convert from radians to degrees, convert from radians into degrees, you simply multiply by 180 over pi. So that's going to help you change and from radians into degrees. So we gave you new directions, such as convert pi over 4 radians into degrees. What you do is you take pi over 4, pi divided by 4, and you would multiply that by 180 divided by, um, by pi. So you multiply that across, and you get pi times 180 divided by 4 times pi. Well, if you notice, since both of those have a pi on top and bottom, well, both of those pi's cancel out. That pi and that pi cancel to be 1. And you want to have a new equation. That new, equa that new expression will equal to 180 divided by 4. If you divide 180 by 4, you can wind up getting 45 degrees. Once you plug and calculate 180 divided by 4, you should wind up getting 45 degrees. So pi divided by 4 equals 45 degrees. So if you want to go backwards, and if I gave you degrees, I want to convert that back to radians. Basically, to convert from degrees back into radians, you multiply by, 100, by pi divided by 180. So it's basically you're going to flip the last fraction, and now you're going to multiply by pi divided by 180. So the direction where uh, convert 130 degrees into radians, you basically take 130 degrees, and in this case, you multiply 130 degrees by pi over 180. So if I get a, a number of times a fraction, I typically make that number of fractions. So I'm taking 130 to make it into a fraction. I multiply that by pi divided by 180. So when I multiply that, what I get is 130 times pi. And that's going to be divided by 180. And you basically simplify 130 um, by pi. And if you do, you're going to wind up having these tens cancel out. And it's going to leave you with something like 13 pi divided by 18. And since 13 is a prime number, there's no way to break that down any further. So this would have to be the final answer. So 130 degrees is the exact same thing as 13 pi divided by 18. Sometimes it's got to switch it up on you. And instead of giving you pi in your radians, it may give you a number like 6. So this direction um, asks you to convert 6 radians into degrees. So it's going to be the same process. Remember, if you convert from radians to degrees, you multiply by pi. One, you multiply by um, 180 over pi. So if that's the case, I'm going to take 6. I'm going to multiply by 180 divided by pi. So when you wind up doing that, you wind up having, um, I would change 6 to be a fraction, so it's 6 over 1 times 180 divided by pi. So when you actually multiply that, you wind up having 6 times 180. You divide that by pi. And 6 times 180 is going to be a really big number. And if you check it out, it's going to wind up being, it's going to wind up being, 1080 divided by pi. So 6 radians is the exact same thing as 1080 over pi. So some of them come up to be things like that. So again, um, this example is not much different from the last one I gave, where it gives you uh, 3 pi divided by 2, and it's in radians, and you want to convert that into degrees. So again, if you remember, what we did was we multiply 3 pi divided by 2, and we multiply that by 
180 over pi. I'm going to show you this a second way uh, because actually you can save some work if you figure out the shortcut until you next. But finishing the way you already know, we come up with 3 pi. And that's going to multiply by 180. And that's going to be divided by 2 times pi. And what you're looking for is well, what can cancel out, what can reduce. So right away, you should recognize that pi is canceled out to be 1. And also, the 180 divided by 2, that actually cancels out to so be 90. So when you reduce that, you wind up having just simply 3 times 90. And that's, of course, going to be 270. So it's going to be 270 degrees. So, but another way of actually doing that exact same problem, instead of doing it that way and showing all the work for it or whatever else, if you remember in the beginning, we said pi was equal to 180. All right, so pi radians equals to 180 degrees, basically. So whatever you see pi, you can basically always substitute it for 180. So another way of thinking about the exact same problem would be if you had 3 pi divided by 2, you could just say, 3 times 180, and you're going to divide that by 2. And if you look for what can reduce or whatever, it's always going to be something that should be reduced. So if that's the case, 180 divided by 2, you should definitely find that it's 90. And you're going to find the answer just a little bit quicker, because now we have 3 times 90 again, which is the 270 that we found earlier, 270 degrees. So I'll write degrees, and that's what you found. So this is another way of doing it. So whenever you see pi, you can basically substitute 180 and look for what reduces and just reduce that. And you'll come up with the exact same answer. Again, if you don't have pi involved, um, it doesn't really work. But if you have pi involved, you can always do that.